Alrighty, good evening coffee crew. Welcome to another Animal Crossing stream. Hope everyone's doing well. Good to see you all. Hello Pokey, hello Kafka. You two being the first chatters of the stream, which uh, I still need to... Can't believe I keep forgetting to. Um, but uh, And thank you for the, for the hydrate, Yuki. And biscuits. Wow, a little double hydrate right at the start. <laughs> But I uh, hope everyone is doing well, and uh, I keep meaning to set it up triple hydrate. Goodness, drowning right at start. Okay, let me just jump in the ocean real quick. Uh, but I keep forgetting to set up that first redeem, or it'll only cost like one point. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, drown the streamer, I guess so, because uh, there's a fourth one. Uh, but we've got KK Slider on the island today. We're not going to talk to him just yet. Do I have anything to sell? Uh, simple black mat, common wall. Yeah, I got a couple of things to sell. Let me, let me run into Tom Nooks real quick. I looked at I looked over to see, um, like, you know, a YouTube recommended video pop up on my, like, little banner there. And it recommends one of my own videos. Like, really. I I made that. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, yeah, yeah, Yuki, you gotta simmer down there, fella. <laughs> Everyone gets one. <laughs> um, and then uh, also I need to remember to post and update that I am now live. So give me like two seconds while I do this. I always come slightly unprepared. Huh. Or I'll forget to do that one thing before I say, hey, let's go live. Okay, there we go. Paste Rooney, Twitter is notified that I'm now live as well, so I've not forgotten anyone. Uh, what were the odds? <laughs> and I would like to sell, please. What exactly am I offering? I'm glad you asked, little Tanuki friend. I have got simple black mat and a common wall. Two things I will never use. Look at all the fine things you bought me. Yep, give me that 800 bells. 450? Oh, I thought... I thought I was going to make a little money here. Apparently not. Anyway, you guys can have them. Probably could have traded those. Also, I like that Uh, I like that in the shop right now, they've got one of the, like, food house decor items. This was, uh, this was before they made crafting food a thing. So, like, before, you know, that, you had to actually buy house decor pieces of these <laughs> these food items. So, this ramen bowl. Uh, oh, and that's 800 bells. Actually, I'll pass. Maybe if you'd paid me 800 bells. But like, also with the, um, with, like, the coffee mugs and things. Is that an arcade machine? Yo! Arcade Mahjong? Those are in limited supply, so act fast for serious. Let's see, that 64,000 bells. Uh, I've got money in the... i got money in the, uh... The bank. I could run and get 10,000 and get an arcade to put somewhere. I don't have anywhere in my house, but... Maybe somewhere outside I'd make, like, an outdoor arcade kind of... Kind of area. Yes, thank you, thank you for always... Being so hospitable and cheap. Good grief. <laughs> uh, and this is not the first I've played this week, so I don't think the Lost and Found will have anything. I'll check it anyway, though. Because um, this is kind of a bonus Animal Crossing stream. But I'd mentioned a couple sessions back that I wanted to play on, like, a Saturday. Oh, we do have stuff in here. Awesome. Uh, that I wanted to play on a, on a Saturday. Uh... Because of, like, which I'm calling, uh, KK Slider and, uh, all the other fun kind of weekend stuff. 
A dress shirt. Ooh, a rocket lamp. That sounds cool. Frilly pants and rosewood flooring. I feel like I've maybe seen the rosewood flooring. I'm gonna run to the house and check this stuff out. Um, but I've been wanting to, to like get KK Slider on the island to get a new uh like jam track to listen to, uh, and also to just that purple looks so out of place. I'm relocating or selling you. Um, to to be able to have that like in at least one of the vibes, and add more variety from just like. Okay, it's our weekly stream. Let's go check all the shops, check out the, uh, you know, Harbs Island, see what Red has, be disappointed, come back home. And then, okay, it's time to go work. You know, it's same old, same old. At least with Saturday, we get a little extra flair in there. Uh, and then also, depending on how much we do of Happy Home Academy, or Happy Home Academy, Happy Home Paradise, uh, we might be nearing the end of that. I feel like when I finish that DLC, I might put Animal Crossing down for a little bit. And then we'll pick it up again, like, you know, a couple months from now, whenever, uh, whenever, um, the fish that I'm missing both arrive. Which, one of them will show up come November, so it's not like I'd be putting it down for long. Uh, but then the other one, it doesn't show up until December. I'm missing the Stringfish and the Blowfish. And both don't appear until the uh, the winter months in the uh, northern hemisphere. Uh, what do we got? So we just got a dress shirt, so I don't need to buy that. Uh, Fisher hemmed, I have that in my uh, in my closet. Flashy slags, I've got pretty much every color of the flashy slags. Uh, I could I could I'd be a, a pretty pretty princess in a in a dress. That's fun. Uh, maxi shirt dress. Oh, it's the shirt dress. I thought it was like a long coat. Because I've got the, the like Sherlock Holmes kind of hat. That would have gone with that. But but it has no pants. So, uh, never mind. Oh, and then we got like... Sailor dresses. If I wanted to be Sailor Moon. Dotted shower caps. A lot of more uh, femme-centric items in the... Uh, in the shop today. And then I think I have the paper bag. I feel like I have the paper bag. Splinter cell goggles. Yeah, nothing's really jumping out and speaking to me. We got flip-flops. I don't have any flip-flops. I could, could get some of those. Uh, water sandals. Those are just like crocs with cutouts. You're not fooling anyone. And, yeah, I'm going to say, nothing's really, nothing's speaking to me, Mabel. You let me down. Please come again. I will, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah, I'll see you next week. And, let me head on down. Oh, wait, was that weeds? Did I spot a weed? No. No weeds. Oh, we do have some more purple flowers, and I'm more than happy to rehome the purple flower that I just pulled over here. I'm gonna place it here so we have more chances to get that, uh, the pink. Uh, doop -doop -doop, and plant. There we go. And since I'm over on this side, I guess I can come over and grab these weeds, because these are, in fact, weeds. Try and get my island weed free. 420 friendly, but not weed friendly. <laughs> there's there's a difference. <laughs> May not believe it. But uh there, there there is. Lots of purple over here. Keep forgetting I have a pear tree. <laughs> no partridge though. And let me come down here. Got some more weeds. And I think that might be all of them. Oh. Yeah, I should have known that would be a... That would be a doodad. I can't... I don't, I don't recognize that bug. Oh, it's one of the tiger beetles. Looks like a giant ant for a second. Yeah, KK Slider, I see you. You're being perceived. I know you're there. But uh, I'm getting my, my coffee fix before we 
before we talk to you. Also, it's not too early for me to, to grab the music from, is it? I thought that started at a 6. Or maybe it starts at 5. Ugh, Rooster's empty today. That is... That's sad. I was hoping I'd see you today. Care for some coffee? It's 200 bells a cup. Absolutely. Give it to me. Sure. Ah, uh, yes. Sweet, sweet coffee. Ask if I want the pigeon milk. Please. No! Oh, that's like, what, three times in a row now? No pigeon milk? I brewed this cup, especially for you. Drink up. All right, all right, fine. Hot, hot, hot. Almost burned my tongue, but that's how I like it, scorching. I won't be able to taste my food for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anytime, Brewster. Always a pleasure getting my daily coffee fix at the roost. And then, uh... I don't know what my, like, coffee count from the roost is. Oh, Blethers is awake, so he wakes up at 6 o'clock. Now I know. I always assumed it was a little bit later. Uh, but at now... Put my ladder away. Now let's go talk to KK Slider. Um, but let me... Let me pull up the KK Slider song list. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Because I know he's got songs that, um... Like, only appear... Uh, or, or you can, like, have him play one himself. Uh, if there's a chance that you'll, uh... You'll, like, get a, get a duplicate. And let me double check to make sure... I don't request a song that I already have, which I can I can check very quickly by running over here. Let's see what we got. Uh, so I have Aloha KK, Chill Wave, Drive-In, KK Birthday, I Love You, Forest Life, Farewell, KK Dirge, KK Fusion, KK Belonga, KK Ragtime, Stale Cupcakes, Pondering Neapolitan, KK Western, two days ago, and Welcome Horizons, which you get from the first time that he plays. Uh, so let's, uh, let, let, let's see here. Take a look at my, my list. Let's go with, a uh, Steep Hill. Let's request Steep Hill. That's got a nice, fun, unique name to it. Nice running into you, just do it. I'm struggling to come up with a last-minute dinner plan. Well, good luck with that. How do you do, love? I love how you stop to chat with me, my dear. That's all it takes to make me think it'll be a good day. Smoothie, it's been too long. You know you don't need some, uh... Cockamamie reason to come talk to old Bruce, right? Well, I'm just glad you stopped by. Take care now. Bruce's voice, I swear, it changes like every session. Well, well, Smithy, long time no chat. We are on speaking terms, aren't we? I feared something was amiss between us, but I'm pleased to see I was wrong. It's good to talk again. Alright. And hi, KK. If it isn't that cool cat who puts the hep in my step, Smithy, you ready for me to wail? Cool, cool. Any request? I can dial up an old favorite, or you can just tell me how you're feeling, and I'll groove on it. Uh, give me that one song. So if you select that, you can type in the uh, name of the song and request a specific one. All right, hit me up with that deep cut. What's it called? And then uh, it is case sensitive, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so not a none X. There we go. Steep. Hill. So you need to have like the capitalization right. You have to have the spelling right and all that. Uh, what I do is there's a really nifty like Reddit post someone put out uh, asking what they uh, 
asking for people to comment what their favorite KK Slider song is. Uh, and they listed every song that's available in Animal Crossing New Horizons that uh, they even re request from KK. And uh, that that's what I use. And then I just like kind of check off the ones that I have. Or mentally check off the ones that I have. Groovy, then how about you cop a seat so I can get started? Sit over by Tiffany. Right on, I'm tuned up and ready to roll. Who's in the mood for a little steep hill? And here we go. It's going to throw us into like the Animal Crossing credit sequence while we, while we listen to them. Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, I like the cherry blossoms falling. Does the uh does the background decor kinda change depending on a uh, season? What does this song sound familiar? It's like a KK slider ified like version of a an actual like pop song. Yeah, this is a this is a nice one. I like it. Good choice, solid choice. E a KK just pushed Axis away from Earth. Oh my God, that's what it makes me think of. Yeah, Char's counterattack, like the uh, the, like end song it plays with the credits. Like not all of it, but parts of it for sure. Yeah, beyond the time. <laughs> well, funny would it be if they just like threw in random ass like anime openings but KK fied. Oh look, there, there's there's Axis in the background. <laughs> it's Amuro Ray's energy. <laughs> would KK Slider be Amuro or Char if he was in their situation? <laughs> Oh, nice. Shards Counter-Attack theme is your island's jingle. And thank you, Nintendo, for always offering us such a great time with these weekly, or in this case, uh, double-packed Animal Crossing New Horizon session. Great games. Right on, man. Why don't you give your pockets a glance? I slipped you a boot of the show. That was, like, unreal. Thanks for turning your dial in my direction. Yep. And then, uh, my island jingle is Funky Town by Lip Sync. <laughs> which, uh, which we can get it played by going in and saying hi to Punchy. Gotta get our daily Punchy visit in. Uh, Louie? Punchy? You guys are, like, Punchy? I thought we were besties. Wait, what's going on here? I... You were my best friend. Look, see how Louie pushes you around? You were my best friend, Punchy. That's it. I gotta I gotta get rid of Louie. There's only one solution. No one can take Punchy away from me. But anyway. <laughs> I love it. It's Funky Tom by Lip Sync, and I love when it's up. Uh, Meowified with Punchy here. Hey, Louie just showed up too. Let's have a snack party. My place is the best, and everywhere you look, it just keeps getting better. Uh, unless you look under stuff. Then it gets worse. Oh! Uh, unless you find a peanut. Then it's the best again. He's so happy he loves that peanut. Uh, also, I want to talk to Louie. I want to talk to Louie. Louie. Yeah, Punchy's been unfaithful. Wow, I really got lucky visiting Punchy, because now you're here too. Just do it. 
Oh yeah, also, Louis the one that spread that shit post of a the catchphrase to to Ione. Uh oh no, Louis, I swear to god, if you get punchy saying just do it, you are actually getting booted off my island. Take it easy. Have a drink or something. Make yourself at home. What am I saying? This isn't even my house. Just do it. Hi, Patches. I was saying punchy, not... Not, you know... Patches, but whatever. Hi. Yes, hello, pal. Heya! Uh, what, what, what's new? Wow, feels like a birthday party. Or even a regular party, with everyone over like this. What's up? Uh, does he play a game if I talk to him uh, enough? That wooden simple bed is so comfy, I could sleep in it all day. In fact, I have. No worries, though. My tummy wakes me up. <laughs> I love Punchy. He's my boy. He's my boy, damn it. <laughs> But uh, I'll, I'll let him. I'll let him hang out with Louie, I guess. But if the next time I see him, he tells me just do it, I'm loading the double barrel. I'm finding Louie, and I'm telling him get on that boat or you're out of here. Lights out, forever. I wonder how many times they're going to run into each other today, love. Darling, do you know what's happening tomorrow? With a fireworks show, of course. It'll be the perfect opportunity to get all dressed up and enjoy some bright lights, love. Yep, that's great. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. And hi, librarian. How you doing? Good to see you. Let me get another song uploaded now that we have a uh, steep hill. And I'm gonna have that one playing over here. Uh. Oh yeah, and I never did check my mail. Let me do that real quick. Scooby doop doop. Hey, Wardle! You gained 10 clients quite quickly. Good job coordinating all the vacation homes. I must say, the party was quite fun. Very nice. Thank you for everything. Oh, Wardle! I didn't know he was gonna send me anything. Good, you're making dinner? Alright. Thinking of you, Smithy. Oh my. I was out for a walk on the beach just now, and I remembered a funny thing you said once, and it made me smile all over again. Thought you should know that, so that's why I sent you this note. Never change, Ione. Tom Nook and uh, Isabel are going to receive a stack of papers of eviction notices. Uh, <laughs> ASAP for Louis. <laughs> and it just says, just do it in red marker. <laughs> Bring it full circle. <laughs> Nobody tells him, just do it like I do. Uh, what was in the present? Oh, a large paradise planning rug. Can I place that here? No, but I can drop it. Um, I've got a room in the house that's got a large, like, floor space area. Also need to talk to Cherry. I haven't talked to her in a while. How are you doing? Just do it. Oh my god, they, they got her too. Cherry, I'm so sorry. Oh, this shit pose is getting out of hand. No. Oh, my boy Punchy is almost, almost certainly going to be saying it now. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> Clear skies are amazing. They really make you think about how uh, huge our galaxy is, you know? Like, sunlight travels 92 million miles to make us warm and happy during the day. And at night... Some of the starlight we see has traveled billions of years to get here to our island. I want to make a joke about me being a star, but I'm too busy being amazed by nature. Yeah? Okay. Just do it, herpes. Oh my god. That's a, that's a combination of words. <laughs> oh, I hate, I hate Louie. And it's such a shame, because I like Louis. I think he's kind of cool. He's really grown on me. When I first got him on my island, I thought he was a terrible villager design. Um, but he, he's he's come around, or I've come around, to like, to liking him. Uh, spread out. How does this look? Whoa! I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Just get it centered. 
Yeah. I was thinking it would have like logos slapped all over it, but no, they're they're kind of subtle. They're just on the corners, and it's this lovely red. That's nice. What else do I have in my inventory? Um, rocket lamp. Place that real quick. Oh, that's cool. A rocket lamp. More like giant lava lamp. Uh, put that in the old pocketoo there. An air circulator. Oh, uh, it's literally a fan. All right, I'll sell that. Um, but the rocket lamp, that's going with me. I'll find a place for that. For sure. Uh... Doop -doop -doop. Oh, I could put it right here. Uh, that's the air circulator. Rocket lamp. Place item. Yeah! There we go. And then when I turn around, is it visible right there? Oh, it sure as hell is. That's awesome. Okay, I like that. Oh, and then we got some, uh, we got some new clothing items. Shoot. I probably should have tried them on while inside. Well, uh, we'll get slightly better lighting out here, I feel like. Uh, frilly pants. Where? Okay, I think I have these pants, but in a different colorway. Uh, denim pants. I just took those off. Long chino skirt. Okay, that's a skirt. Denim pants. What were those? Uh, dress shirt. What color do I have? Okay, that's that's kind of nice. So I will I will save that. And then I got the rosewood flooring, which I meant to lay out and see if I liked it or not. Um, trying to think where I could place it. What, what room do I want to test it out on? I guess we can do in here. Rosewood flooring, place on floor. Uh, yeah, horizontally. Oh. Oh, that's that's literally the... Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> so I had the rosewood flooring already. Uh, I'm going to sell that. The dress shirt. I'm going to put that in storage. Frilly pants. Put in storage. Oh, we do have the uh, skull wall, which I can... <laughs> it's going to look edgy as hell. But <laughs> let's take a look at that. Uh, place on wall. Uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's just a smidge bit of edge. <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom. Alright. Kind of funny that I didn't recognize my own flooring in my inventory. <laughs> Now I got a few more items to sell to to Timmy and Tommy, and then we'll head on off to work. We'll get some more Happy Home Paradise done. Phase only evolves. Yeah, now my my actual like my living room looks like the catacombs in France. I went from skull wallpapers to actual skulls. <laughs> I would like to sell, please. What exactly are you offering? Oh, you should you should already know. All this crap I don't need. Uh, and then I didn't like the air circulator. It did nothing for me. Thing blows. And 2080 bells sold. You got a Dillaruni. Take a look at everything else over here. That's a, like, wall clock, right? Yeah. Double-sided wall clock. Those are in limited supply. Act fast. 1,100 bells. If I could place it on the side of a house, I would maybe consider it. But it, it has no space uh, in my house. So I'll pass on it. And I wish you would get a different surfboard design. I hate that it's the same one. Because there, there's like a really nice wood uh, finished surfboard. And it's got like a darker... Uh, darker kind of um uh stain along the edge and it looks really nice like classic kind of kind of surfboard uh then there's a hibiscus one and i want that one as well but uh they they only have the one i don't know if i have to go to other people's islands to get different design surfboards or what 
Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies at Dandy Cove Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to go to work. And so you're going to work. Roger that. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff. Time for takeoff. Next will be a McDonald's with clear flooring so you can see the catacombs underneath it. Bonus, you can see someone's skeleton chilling. <laughs> I would never let McDonald's within, like, a five-mile radius of my house. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? Aside from, you know, go extinct. And... Here we go. wonder what uh, clientele we have today. If it does indeed, uh... Hey, good to see you! You should say hi to Lottie when you can. That's all part of the plan. Uh, but let me see here. This is the thing, McDonald's with catacombs underneath it? Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. And I'm sure I've read about it and heard about it. Yo, bird dude, he's cool. That's a fun bear. Got squirrel. Got tiger. And we got we got bunny with the, with the plaid. That's fun. Alright, so it's like not atrocious, ugly villagers like I usually get. That's... It's a miracle. <laughs> I might decorate all of their homes. Hi, Orca, how you doing? Poor villagers. Well, well, no, like, Orca, here's the thing. Typically, like, when you come to the Happy Home Paradise stuff... Yo, is that a lazy boy? <laughs> uh, you'll come to the, um... You're well just about to go to bed. Uh, typically when you come to the, uh, like, Happy Home Paradise Island, all the villagers are, like, the worst design villagers. Like, they're the, the bottom of the barrel, the last one anyone wants in their, uh, their, uh, whatchamacallit, their island. For the evergreen ash, I want that. I can find a place for that. And is that a dentist chair? No, that's, like, a lazy boy. Wait a minute. Plush massage chair? Oh, it's got the little control panel for the... Uh, I'm gonna pass on that. I don't... Can I try it out? No? Okay. I like that accent table. Ooh, Moroccan tray table. And for 3,900, I will take that. Okay, so we got a few, few new items. Uh, I've been needing the table to put in my room at home. And then the, uh, the plant, that'll just look nice outside somewhere. What's up? Are you looking for some work, Smithy? I'm ready to work. Okay, let's get you working. Off I go. Good luck out there. And we've done ten homes. So I don't know how many more I need to do to get the, uh, KK Slider beach party. But if we can get that done today, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's see what everyone wants. I want a sewing room for all the cute fabric I've collected. I want to spend as much time outside as possible. I think I'd have a lovely time in a ranch-style home. I want to relax on a farm that's designed for real farmers. To me, vacation means being surrounded by the sporty life. So we got another sports guy, we got another farmer. Let's, uh, let's start with the bunny. With the, with the sewing room. I haven't had one that's requested, like, sewing hobby kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm here for some private time, so no pictures or autographs, right? Hey, wait up. You're, you're one of those folks who design vacay homes, aren't you? So, like, I'm at peak, I need a vacay palace right now. It's a problem I need to solve soon now, maybe? You know? Let's, let's chat. Let's see what you got, bunny. Wow, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's, let's get started, T. <laughs> uh, let's get this party started. For for my dream vacay palace, I'm thinking of something like... Observe. Uh, so they want a little sewing box, sewing kit, a sewing machine. Chulesworth! Davey! Chulesworth is me. <laughs> Davey's you. How you doing, Davey? You have a riddle for me? Oh boy. 
I'm bad with riddles. Uh, if I were in, you know, Bilbo Baggins' position, nah, go and eat me for real. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right. Now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Smithy. It looks like Bob in the background. Colorful Sewing Sanctuary. I feel like they'd want a, a kind of plain, plain kind of home. Uh, what is four letters long? Sometimes is nine, but never is five. Four letters long. Sometimes is nine, but never is five. I will have to think on that while I select a home. You kind of shouldn't have read that until after I selected a home plot. We didn't put anyone over here. Oh. Got the hill. We got this one with the interesting trees in the background. I've never seen those trees anywhere. And we also have this one here. Uh, ooh. I kind of like that one. The waterfalls are pretty. Yeah, let's put them over here. Four letters long, sometimes is nine, but never is five. Sometime is nine is the, the interesting one. So it... Amazing, perfecto, I can't wait to see it. You, like, broke my brain for a minute. Now, Bunny. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Now, I got I got nothing, Davey. Like I said, I'm, t I'm terrible of riddles, and then once you tell me what it is, I'm gonna feel real dumb. And then I'll just reaffirm that, yeah, no, riddles are not for me, and Gollum would eat my ass. That's it. That's... that's it? There's nothing else to the statement? I... okay. Well... Smithy, please lead Bunny to the site and best of luck. Oh, I... So I... I got it. It was what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the perfect spot. My, my vacay home will be right here. I'm super excited. All right, Smithy, I'm going to leave you to it. Uh, that's right, you're going to leave me to it, because I don't see you decorating. Uh, let me hop into our grid view. Oh, it's what is four letters long. Sometimes it's nine, never is five. It's how many... How many letters are you? Okay, wow. Yep. Yep. Feeling feeling pretty dumb. Thank you for that, Davy. Always, always a pleasure. Having uh having griddles thrown at me. <laughs> hey, an old sewing machine, that's fun. So we can have like multiple in here. Upright organizer, Nordic shelves. I'll have to keep all that in mind. And that's over in the order tab. Oh, really? We got, like... We got international... Uh... Little bots now? <laughs> and, uh, you can go ahead and ban those bots as well, Biscuits. Just really get them out of here. But I thank you for deleting that. Awesome. Groovy. Uh... Outside decor, do I want anything? Actually, wait a minute. Let me go with... Let's get a pathway done. And also, let me move the house over. Uh, 
Oh, am I not going to be able to... Uh, hey, I need you two to move. Yeah, I need you two to move. I want the bridge to be lined up with the house. Oh, I can't, I can't move the bridge. Why would you let me highlight the bridge and then not move it? Oh, I can change the style of the bridge. Why would you let me change the style of the bridge, but not move it? <laughs> okay. All right, but just why? Why are you like this? Anyway, we'll go with the Zen bridge. <gasps> Wait a second, you can change the design of the house! What the heck? Oh my god. Oh, that's... This is mind-blowing. Has that always been a thing that I just failed to see that you could press X? Really? Wow. Uh, and I like the uh, orange kind of terracotta. Um, but I'm going to go with the brown. Yeah, we'll go brown. And then for the house itself, let's go... No, not, not wood panel. Cobblestone? Yeah, cobblestone. A blue house? A red house? You can do it after the first house you design? I did not know that. I had missed that. Oh, that, that's embarrassing. Because I sat here, like, multiple sessions and was like, Oh, I wonder if you could... I wish you could, you know, decorate the house. Yeah, I knew you could move the house, but I never, like... Hovered over it and pressed X. And I can't line the house up with the bridge. That's so annoying. Why won't it let me just line the damn house up with the bridge? Also, Nico, you're I love you, but get off the get off the house. Bunny, you can come back over here too. Oh, that's so annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'll have it over here, and then we'll just have a, like, crisscross pathway. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> X. That's not what I wanted. X. There we go. I hit Y. Uh, I guess we'll go with the arch tile. It's not the first choice I would go with. Yeah, and let's go with, uh, no, why can't I, you're kidding me, okay, and then I'll get rid of that one, there we go, sometimes I wish there wasn't a snap grid for some things, yeah, yeah, same, it's just one of those, like, small limitations of the hardware in the game. Uh, the inability to make bridges odd uh, number width irritates me. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, when you're decorating your own island, or setting up your own island, um, if you don't have the, the, like, perfect alignment for, like, the bridge going to, like, say, the museum or something, it's going to be slightly off. And you'll never not notice it. And just, ugh. It makes putting decor around the bridge a little bit of a hassle as well. Not like a huge one, but a slight one. Um, do I have any new fences? No, but I haven't used the iron one. Yeah, something like that. And then do I want it fenced in? I feel like maybe I do. Yeah, I feel like maybe I want this little area fenced in. And then... Let me go to... There. Let me tab over to our trees. I've got different fruit trees. Let's put an apple tree in the front. In the front, not in the yard. There we go. Lovely. 
And can I get rid of... Yeah, let me get rid of the moss. I think it's cool, but I don't want it in the yard itself. Oh, and then this is available space to me, too. So we'll get rid of it here. Um... And then let's see, we'll put a couple of hardwood trees up there. I wish you could, like, put a tree in, uh... Uh, yeah, not being able to... There we go, that's what I wanted. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> and then... Bamboo... Uh, some bushes. Some bushes right over here would be nice. Hibiscus. Tea olive. That's hibiscus. Plumeria. Azaleas. Hydrangeas. Holly bush. More azaleas. Oh, let's go with the hibiscus. Place a few of those there. Nice. Oh, and then uh, I can I can do more of the house. I forgot. Siding door. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, let's go with like a darker red on the door. And then the windowed. Yeah, I think the windowed's what we want. And then door decor. Got a welcome mat, little thing. I do like the iron door plate. That's nice. Uh, and then we got wreaths. Variants. What do we have? White, blue, silver, ash brown, gold, pink, and brown. How does the white look? Now I'll go back to back to black. Black Rooney. There we go. Yeah, and then I, I want something in the backyard. Uh... Scroll over to everything. Yeah, I want something in the backyard. Is there like a hot tub? Throw a hot tub back there? I know there's a like... Jet pool, whatever. I've seen that one a few times. Uh, getting into food items. Here we go, more... Decor. Aroma pot. Humidifier, fragrance diffuser, the fish container that Angus asked for. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, look, it's a little miniaturized version of the house. <laughs> uh, tabletop festive tree, and then we're getting into posters. Let me scroll back up. It'll be this way. Thank you, Trip, for the hydrate. Appreciate that. Oh, here we go. Whirlpool bath. Is that going to look odd being down here? I feel like that's a bit odd. Yeah, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Making it black kind of makes it look more like a jacuzzi, but now it kind of looks like a Roomba with water on it. Yeah, let me remove that. Uh, I know there's like the rock pool that, that we could use. I used that on one of the previous houses. I can find it. I think it's gonna be further down. Cause uh that could that could certainly go in that spot. Uh yeah, it's just bathtub, squat toilet. Uh doop a doop a do a wave breaker. Put a tent out there. There we go. Glowing Moss Pond. Yeah, you know, that kind of works. I make it green, or we can go with the purple again. I used the purple the last one. I, I think I did. How does the green look? That's like a kind of nasty, gross color. I'll keep it turquoise. And then uh, if I can get like a potted plant put beside it, maybe that'll complete the look. Uh... Yeah, cherry blossom branches. And then can I place that over here? No. Okay, I can't place that over here. Uh, is there a smaller plant? Maybe that would fit. 
Or am I going to have to extend the fence line to, to make this work? Might have to do that. Yeah, let me... There we go. Uh, and then scroll down, just make sure that didn't have an extra that I don't need. Plus, plus. Scoot you on over. And now, I can put the cherry blossoms. Yeah, there we go. And then I can't put a rug out here, but that's fine. We can pretend. Yeah, they got a nice little fenced in yard area. Let's go inside, see what we're working with. Ow, patches, don't kangaroo kick me. You meanie. Alright, so there's our sewing machine. A little sewing kit. And that. Uh, scroll down. Definitely want to make this space bigger. I'm thinking 8x8. Eight 8x6. Eight. Eight we'll start with 8x6, and if I feel like we need more, I'll put more. Um, definitely want a couple tables. Low table? No. Uh, vintage dresser. We, I want that old sewing machine. That's like part of the plan I had. So I'll have that over here. Do we have different colorways? Oh, we do. Okay, so we got black. We got green, which is really lovely. I like that. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Um, vintage dresser. Place that over here. I want enough space that I can put something in that corner. Uh, does this have different colorways? Yes, it does. Brown, silver, green, white, and black. Uh, I think I'll keep it with the natural. That wood kind of goes with that wood. <clears throat> Upright organizer. Can I fit that in the corner? Yes, I can. And then let's go brown, green, pink, blue, yellow. Then I can change the box. That's fine. Let's go with the floral. And then, can I place the sewing machine on top? Yes, I can. There we go. So we got, we got like, the two different sewing machines. This one, like, the, the board folds up, and that would give her access to this area. Yeah, that, that's, that's nice. <clears throat> and then, let me... Now that we have, a uh, like, a little bit of stuff there, let me look back into this view. And wallpaper. <clears throat> One of the hardest parts of each of these builds. It's like figuring out the wallpaper. Heavy curtain wall that is atrocious. White subway wall. Um pears. Peaches. Green blossoming. Sip of that water. Oh, is this a, uh, is that a patchwork wall? Pink quilt wall? That's a little too on brand. But I like it. <laughs> I I actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. Um, and if there's a quilted floor. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that might be a little too much, though. Yeah, I, I think that's a little too much. Uh... So we'll replace that. Ski slope flooring. Oh, that's like the snow one. Um, we can get that water flooring with the funky animation. The same with the club flooring. Red polka dots. Stripe floor. Ew! Oh, that's a... I have seen houses with this exact flooring. And it's like, why? Why was that ever considered... Why is this a thing? 
terracotta. Terracotta is kind of nice, actually. Yeah, right now I'm kind of leaning terracotta. Let's see what else we got, though. Uh, flagstone, yeah, that, that's got a little bit of a... I, I prefer the grittiness of... Like, grid. Not gritty, but like, grid. Uh, dark wood floor pattern. Yeah, that's a little too patterned. Rush to Tommy. Uh, doesn't really fit here. Uh, slate floor in stone tile. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking terracotta is the winner. And then we can place this over here. Place that there, and then I can put a plant up top. I think. Oh, and uh, we do have different colorways. Hold up. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Dark brown, white, navy blue. Navy blue is interesting. Let's go with the white. Yeah, I'll go with the white. Kind of goes with the um sewing set. Let's go order first. Oh, because there's a, there's a lovely little succulent right there. Uh, no, I do I do like that succulent, but not right there. Uh, and then what else do we have? We got the uh, we got the creepy dolly. Oh, and she loves creepy dolly. Okay, we're we're putting dolly over here. I <laughs> can't can't say no to the hearts. An accessory stand. I feel like we could maybe put another little table over here. That wouldn't be too out of place. A vintage stool. Oh yeah, they gotta gotta be able to work from their uh from their sewing station. And then yeah, I do still feel like a little side table or something could fit there. Um because I want a table to put the sewing project on. But it doesn't have to go there, you know? Like we could have the little kitchen area and then maybe maybe she's taking up her kitchen table with sewing stuff too. Yeah, let me let me play with that idea a bit. Uh, bedding beds. Actually, wait a minute. There's a patchwork bed. Go with that one. But we're gonna change that pattern for sure. Vivid, cool, chick, country, nursery, leaves, and cute. I really thought they would let you choose your own pattern for this one. What is a cute look? That's Kind of horrendous. Uh, okay, X. Nursery. What about country? How does country look? Country isn't terrible. It's not great. It's not terrible. Uh, and then bedside tables. We can put some more of the upright organizers, but they've got the, the like, whole... Hey, check me out kind of thing going, you know, with the, with the boxes. Um... So let me let me grab something from here. Box shape seat. Uh tables. Table, table, table. Wooden end table. These are a good classic. And we can make them various different wood colors. Cherry wood, dark wood, black, green, blue, pink wood. We'll go with dark wood. Have one on either side. And dark wood. Is there a table lamp? I think there was. It was up this way. No. Keep scrolling down. Table lamp, table lamp, table lamp. I spend so much time on these. <laughs> oh, the retro TV. Oh yeah, we gave a uh, we gave Angus a retro TV, I think. Uh, is there not a table lamp? Because these are all standing lamps. Or, you know what? Wait. No, tabletop stuff. It's, uh, it's a little further down. Yeah, it's like getting closer down this way, I think. Um, who's getting the outdoor stuff? Here we go. Table stuff. And food. Candlestick, oil lamp, ring light. 
TVs, VCR, upright speaker, record player stuff, tin bucket, uh, Casablanca lilies, succulent, more books. Uh, is there not a tabletop lamp? That's a camp stove, firewood. It would be odd for a bunny to have, a, like, a little bunny statuette in their house. Would, the, would that be strange? Or what about that? I think they put a hamster in the hamster dude's house. Because the implication was hilarious. Uh, no, I'm not saying the tabletop lamp. It's not about the bunny. Oh. <laughs> I, I use these two plants all the time. But I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put the cost of Blanca lilies. We have different colors, which I, I don't really utilize much. Um, ooh, the purple's lovely. Yellow's nice. Red's nice. These are all really nice. Uh, let's go with the yellow. Get a pop of, like, a different color in here. Unless it totally clashes with the, um, pink. It kind of does. Let me, let me try purple. Yeah, purple stands out a little bit more. And then on the other table, I wanted to put, uh, thank you, Natty, for the hydrate. Appreciate it. <clears throat> and uh, for the other table, I wanted either the upright speaker or I was going to put like a, a coffee mug. That's like a little bedside drink. Um, Food was further up, right? Was food further up? No, I, I scrolled past it already. Uh, Back down we go. A little further. A little further. Here we go. Uh, food item-y kind of things, coffee mugs, coffee mug, there we go, uh, coffee cup, and then we got the mug. What variations do we have of the mug? Got floral, polka dots, rose, royal, elegant, ooh, bougie, uh, and then for the mug, we have got... Yellow, red, blue, green, pink, turquoise, and black. Oh, but we can put a design on the mugs. That's cool. Round logo that's like the roost, but not the roost. Got one with cheese on it and a carrot. I feel like the carrot's a little too on the nose for a rabbit. <laughs> I'm going to say screw it, though. You get the little carrot mug. There you go. And then let me go back to everything. I want a little, like, dresser. Which, actually, I think there was one in the order tab. Was there one here that I liked? Uh, no, maybe I was mistaken. Yeah, I was mistaken. Hey, Biscuits, thank you for starting on the shouties. Appreciate that. Because uh, we are at that time. Uh, There we go, the Imperial Chest. That's one that I kind of like. Yeah, I can put that right there. What, what do we have colorways? Red, blue, brown... Brown. And this is where I can get some more of the stuff I wanted to put down. Well, the sewing kit over here instead. And I'll keep that yellow. And then I wanted that dollhouse. Yeah, I want the dollhouse in here. And then we'll have that in the... A little bit brown, maybe? Uh, no, I think I like the red more. Yeah, I like the red more. Uh, so we got Luna, Davy. be sure to get uh, Tripline, get Natty. 
And then uh, let me scroll up, see if anyone else has popped up that usually gets one. Uh... Oh, and uh, be sure to get Kafka as well. Get, uh, get Kafka shouty. And that should cover everyone up to this point. Alright, yeah, this, uh, this is coming together. Coming together nicely. Let's get our kitchen area next. So I need to scroll down. Oh, here we go. Ooh, do I want the clay furnace in her house? I feel like maybe I do. I haven't used the clay furnace. And then have it slightly offset. And then, um... Iron DIY table. That's not what I want. Uh... We do need a, like... Maybe I'll use both of these. Yeah, because then they, they get that sink. And then it's like a complete kitchen. And then this comes in different colors, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. Um, and that doesn't either. I, um, yeah, I don't know if I like that. So let me get rid of that, because there is a... There's a standalone sink that looks really nice. And I, I said I was going to use it during one of the previous builds, and then I didn't. Plain sink. There we go. That's what we want. And then I can make that a different color. We got brown wood, dark wood, white wooden tile, gray wooden tile. That's kind of nice. But I, yeah, actually, no. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll have that. And then I can scroll back up. And, oh, we can put a refrigerator. I've never put a refrigerator in any of these houses. And I can fit one right there. And then let's make that pink with, with some stickers on it. Yeah. Oh, they got their eviction notice on their fridge. Yes, and absolutely. Be sure to get biscuits as well. Thank you, Natty. I think the ice cream might be the one. And then... Do I want to keep it in the pink, or is that going to be too much pink in the house? That's a lot of pink in the house. Let me, let me change that to something else. Yellow, blue, brown, black, silver. What does this silver look? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. Uh, black. Nope, oh, I hit the wrong button again. There we go. And red. We'll go red. The red's at least a bit brighter. And it stands out against the pink. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the one right there. And now I want to plant in the corner. Yuka, we got we got the evergreen ash, which is a new item, but that's absolutely massive. Like even for over here. Oh, and it does come in different colors. That's that's lovely. Yeah, that's huge. Um, baobab tree. We got a damn cactus that we can put in here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put like one of the tried and true fan palms, monsteras, or the yucca. I'm gonna use a fan palm in a minute. Oh, she clapped for the fan palm. I think that's gonna be our winner. And let's go with brown. Computer is having some uh some time of issues. First mouse won't work, and now your headset. Rut row. That's a, uh, that's a problem. Hope you're able to get that sorted. Oh yeah, and we got like the hardwood floor, so we definitely need some rugs in here. Let's get some rugs going. How big is this yellow Hawaiian quilt rug? Oh, that's giant. I have to use your phone. Yeah, that's that's pretty big, and I don't like the colors. They kind of clash with that. Let me get rid of that. Uh, so that was 4x4. Four four. That's 5x5, five five, so that would be even bigger. 
We've got a peach checker drug. Yeah, it's a little too much of a the, like the plaid kind of patterning going on. Yellow design kitchen mat. I would have liked that in Angus's house, I feel like. But that is perfect for over there. Uh, and then we got a simple pink bath mat. Exercise mat. Anything else? Oh, a lacy rug. That's three by three. Oh, that... I think that might be what I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it right there. And then... We still need the, like, kitchen table area. Um... Do I just want to go with the simple Nordic table, or do I want to go to vintage? No, that's a low table. I want one of the, like, high standing tables. Tea table? Oh, tea table's huge. Maybe not that one. Yeah, maybe not that one. Uh, natural garden table? Is that one big, too? That's a pretty big table as well. Yeah, these are too big. And I don't want to make the house any bigger. I think I can make this size work. Um, Nordic table, is that going to be gigantic? That's kind of big, too. She loves it, but it's kind of big. I think the smaller tables are up this way. Oh, it's a Moroccan tray table! Perfect! Like, I had just gotten this. And then... We'll have the, like, little dining table area offset. I won't have it up in this corner like I have other uh, tables. Um, or I can put it over... Put it over here. Technology's weird. Uh, resetting my headset fix itself and somehow my mouse as well. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that is a bit odd in it. Uh, chairs... Ooh, we have these lovely Nordic chairs. Place a couple of those. Or actually, no, she won't be able to sit in these. Let me get rid of those. Uh, school chair, wooden chair, vintage stool. Let's put a couple of more stools. But then we got different colors for these, don't we? Yes, we do. We got brown, silver, green, white, black. Let's go with the brown for the, the, like, kitchen table ones. Just to differentiate them. And then all I have to do is figure out, like, where the heck I'll to put them. Uh, I think I want to put the table further over this way. It's an interesting layout, but it does kind of help with the flow of the room. And then I just need to put a plant in the corner. And then it'll be on to a uh, wall decor. So let me find... Corner plant. We've got the, the fan palm. Let's go with maybe the yucca. Yeah, let's go with the yucca. Now let's have it flush with that corner. And let's go brown for the pot. Now we got a little space right here that we could put something. But I can also fill that space with wall decor. Um, which is what we will go to now. Wall mounted. Perfect. Uh, it had me automatically where I wanted to be. <gasps> Dreamy wall rack. We'll get some more of the like... Uh, Stuffed animals. Maybe have them right here. Blue, green, yellow, white. <laughs> I like that the black gives it a broken heart and an eye patch. <laughs> oh, that's great. Let's go with the, um... Let's go white, though. Yeah, let's go white shelf. Yeah, it doesn't... Doesn't break that, or it doesn't clutter up that space too much. Orange wall-mounted clock. I think that might be as... I know there are some Sanrio items. 
Because there's a Sanrio update, and I never quite figured out what was in that update. It's such an old update now. You put the light switch in that corner. Um, pitcher plant. Hanging terrarium. Floral. Swag. Set of stockings. The tapestry is new. Anything else new? Uh, we got their own photos. I feel like they would be friends with, like, Cherry. They'd probably have a picture of Cherry. Like... They've got a picture of Cherry hanging by their, uh, by their bed. <laughs> and Cherry are besties. Um... Let's see. Can always go with the KK slider kind of CDs to fill up a wall space area. Wall mounted TV, 20 inch. You have that over here by the, uh, by the dining area. Yeah, I don't hate that. Uh, and then there's one of the pots and pans. Pot rack. Definitely want that over here in some capacity. Maybe I'll have it right there. Yeah, yeah, right there looks good. And this didn't have that many colorways. Yeah, we'll go with the wooden. And then we got the the uh, pretty garlands. Could use those again. Hang them across a wall. Yeah, let me put these up. Do I have a color option that makes me think of... Oh, pastel for sure. Yeah, pastel. I think I might have used a pastel during... Um, one of the other villagers as well. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Pastel. Yeah, that kind of covers up that wall. I feel like we can maybe put a painting or something in here. Or a frame poster. Or the tapestry. What about the tapestry? And then what do we have option-wise? White, green, pink, blue... That's a pink look against the pink. Oh, too much pink. Yeah, too much pink. Blue. That does stand out more. Uh, what about the green? Uh, it's kind of a gross color. White. White works. Sure. Um, a set of stockings. Broom and dustpan. I wanted that somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Right there. And then I, I still want a painting. I've used uh, the, like, Vincent Van Gogh painting in so many of these. Same with the frame poster. Fancy frame I haven't used that often. Also having this over a uh, burning fire. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Art genre... Got old portrait, faded portrait, fairy tale, landscape, abstract, repeating pattern. I kind of like the uh, faded portrait. Hang that a little bit higher. And then I need, like, at least one big thing over here, I feel like. Court board. I feel like I use a court board and a bulletin board. I've used both those often. Study poster, maybe maybe that one hanging over here, and then multiplication, periodic table, constellations. Uh, the alphabet's kind of cutesy. Yes, it fits. Does the world map have different designs? Map center, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, oh, it's Pacific or Atlantic on which you want to be the, uh, the center. Okay, 
Uh, that's not what I want, though. Um, formal paper. Maybe another plant. Like a wall-mounted. Uh... Light bulb sign? Wait a minute, how big is that? Navy blue, orange, white, black, red, red, white, and blue. I actually kind of like these. Wait a minute. Yeah, maybe, maybe that will break that space up some. Yeah, I think that might be, might be it for this house. All right, uh, take a look around. So let's get some things polished up. Like the uh, swing set, maybe your sink's all sparkly clean. Yeah, there we go. Maybe your dollhouse. Yeah, get a little pizzazz going. Perfect. Get out of that fit. Let's talk to Bunny. Is everything ready? It's ready. Wow, I've been waiting on pins and needles. I've been experiencing at least two other waiting cliches. Hey, Smithy, hold up a sec. Oh, new feature? Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design your consult, if you don't mind. Mind trouble. Oh, one more amazing vacation home for the island to sing about. But before we wrap up, you got a second? So you remember how to make a furniture sparkle, right? Well, when I told Wordle that I told you about it, he told me a whole thing. Then he told me to tell you. So when you're getting ready to polish, you can make different effects besides sparkling, too. Start by pressing L like always. Then try something out. Uh, Yeah, try some out. So, so go back and sparkle again. Wow, you'll do that too? Thanks. Okay, let me know when you're done. Alright, yeah, so we got different effects. Change effects. Now you can change the effect applied to an item by pressing plus. Oh. So we got sparkles. We got pitter-pat, which is like hearts. We got dizzy, space blip, raindrops, fuzzy bubs, gloom swirl, <laughs> chatter blub. Oh, these are fun. Okay. Let me try the hearts, and then we'll do that to the... Oh, it's like straight up just hearts. Okay. Uh, what about the fuzzy blubs? Ooh, I kind of like that one. It's subtle. Yeah, it's kind of subtle. And then the sparkle is nice. Uh... What does a drip drop do? How how drippy are we talking? Oh, that that's soaking wet. Yeah, we can't do that. Uh, what about Berber? What is that? Oh, it's got like a little frosted effect. And then I guess Steam Shine's gonna be like a steamy. Okay. These are neat, but I don't know how often I'll use this crap. <laughs> like, the sparkle's enough, I feel like. I do like the butterflies in the, uh, in the dollhouse. I think that's cute. But let me go back to Sparkle Blast for the scene. We'll keep that one nice and simple. Simple and clean, if you will. There we go again with the Kingdom Hearts. And it is time, madam, for realsies. Is everything ready? Sweet! I've been waiting for this. You spent all this time building this just for me. I'm so happy. You did amazing! Check that off your bingo card. <laughs> uh, you should have been around for the Assassin's Creed Revelations uh, playthrough that we did. God, that was, that was like an actual true bingo card on shit that would happen in each session. And it wasn't even planned or anything, it would just sort of occur.
Oh, I didn't know it opened? That's cute. Oh, that's a happy face. That might be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> yeah, that might be the thumbnail shot for this VOD. Thanks so much for today. Uh, since you're here, do you want to hang out for a bit? I, uh, ooh, you know, I, I got a, I got a other clients to work with. I'm, I'm sorry, Bunny. Hey, no worries, Smithy. You're always welcome here. Bye! She's adorable. If I had a different Bunny villager than Tiffany, I'd want it to be Bunny. Because I've had quite a few of the rabbit villagers. Add Gaston. I thought I had Gaston earlier. But no, Gaston was the one that left. And Gaston's like the old man, like, grumpy bunny. He's got the mustache. And he's got, like, big bushy eyebrows. Uh, and then he left. And then, like, as soon as he left, Tiffany moved in. So I got rid of one bunny and got another one. And it was the Playboy Bunny bunny. Take a shot every time I say bunny in that segment. Welcome back, Smithy. Alright, this time you've earned 12,000 pokey. finish for today? Or will you work a little longer? Uh, I think I'll work a little longer. It's not about the bunny. <laughs> okay, so you want to keep going. Great news, Smithy. We just got permission to start work on our next facility. Actually, it's even better. We're set up to build two facilities thanks in part to all your great work. We do have to choose one to start with, of course. Uh, what do you prefer between a restaurant and a cafe? Uh, do, do you know the theme of this channel? <laughs> like, hello, we're going with the cafe first. They'll both bring in lots of new visitors, so it's a really tough choice. A beautiful restaurant on Main Street or a beachfront cafe? It's hard to decide. Let's make the cafe. So you think we should start with the cafe? I think you're right. Folks need a place for a quick break. Let's head out to the site and get started right away. Sounds like a plan. So we got facilities going on, so that makes me wonder if we're done with villager homes. And if we're going to get these done, and then it'll be a beach party time. Here we are, a cute little cafe with, uh, will be perfect here. And look at the potential water view. Well, enough daydreaming. Now we need to actually build it. We can start on the exterior design while Nico and Wardle focus on setting up a beachfront dining area. Okay. Uh, ooh, I like the, uh, shape. We got green roof, we got the black roof, which is your kind of traditionally kind of, kind of cafe colors, I feel like, at least. And then we got, uh, two different wood colorways. We got tan and dark brown. I like the dark brown. And then for the side of the coffee house, I, I feel like I want to go with wood. Yeah, I feel like wood's gonna be the one. Uh, how does a white look? White, uh, yeah, we'll go with beige. Or actually, mm, yeah, beige. Green, I associate so much with the roost. I feel like we'd be taking away from, uh, from, uh, from our boy. Tan roof, black roof. That makes me wonder if I wanna maybe change. Maybe that should be green to give it that. How about that's also like roost? <laughs> Aqua roof. Did we make this the schoolhouse roof blue? I can't remember. I feel like we maybe did. Yeah, I think the, the roof of the school is blue. So let's go with blue to keep it kind of thematic. White door, gray door, brown door, beige door, green door, yellow door. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, we'll go with the white door. I don't like the handle color. That's so stupid, but I don't like the handle color. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit limited. I'm like, I was kind of hoping for a bit more control over this. Oh, we can choose from, uh, like, custom patterns. Oh, that's fun. The island is kind of cool. I do like that. How does a vine pattern look on this? Ew. No. What about the footprints? 
That's cute, but no. What about the um, cream path? That almost gives the illusion of extra brick kind of detail. What about this one? No, I don't like the white poking through. Middle. Uh, so portrait. <laughs> no. What about music notes? House of Crossing of the Animals. Man, so many animals have tried to cross us, but we beat them to it. Uh, so it's going well. <laughs> uh, the multicolor and the blue are maybe the ones that speak most to me. Just with the colors that we got here. Then I might change that back to the blue wall. Or blue door. And, uh... Somebody, somebody get our boy Trindo here a shouty, por favor. Green door. Yeah, we'll go with the aqua door. I think that's going to be it. I think that'll, that'll be, that'll be the one there. Hey, yippee, uh, yippee Kai Slay. Oh my goodness. Yippee Kai Slay, motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> This did not have Bruce Willis on my bingo card for today's stream. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Is this okay for the exterior? Yep. Yeah, I, I like it. Especially in this lighting. It looks nice. Great, it looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head inside. Oh, what a, what, what a sad interior. <laughs> All right, we've got work. We got to work on making the interior cute and cozy. Leave this to me. We're finally getting that cafe episode. You're goddamn right we are. <laughs> uh, be sure to press uh, left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, and look in the order tab. See all the requirements. Uh, chewy coffee about to be real. Yes, indeed. The 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 Chewy Cafe is about to open. Now, beyond just a basic requirement, it's so important to get the feel of the place right, Lottie. And I cannot stress this enough. I am a coffee-holic. Uh, you have a question about the backlog till you answered before, but I don't remember. Lay it on me, uh, Trindo. I'm curious to see what the question is. And it probably is one that I've answered before, but I, I am never... Uh, going to shy away from stating it again, repeating myself, whatever, for the, uh, to, like, explain that sort of stuff. Uh, that's where great lighting comes in. You can press, yeah, to access custom, oh, there are custom lighting options. Change both the color and intensity of the lighting. That's a new one. Does that mean I get to do it in my house now? Because usually when we get these new features, we get them in the house. Nook Miles. Oh, we took a picture. Let me claim that. Uh, so you can't give a game that's not on the list, right? Kind of eliminates the point of a redeem now that I think about it. Yeah, if I don't have it in my backlog, why would you... Why would you suggest it? And I did put in the description. It gives a little description box when it, when it pops up. Like, I'm not going to go out and buy games. Now, if it's a free game, sure, lay it on me. Uh... And I'll put it on my backlog if it's one that I, I feel like I would consider playing. Um, but I'm not going to go out of my way to buy a game just because I only have, you know, X amount as far as funding goes. Stuff like that. Yeah, w w what if it's a game I've been thinking of, like thinking of getting? Then <laughs> lusting over even. All right, Davy. <laughs> I'm not doing the honey pop stream. I, I see where you're taking this. Stop it. <laughs> Bad Davy. So I'm gonna get the water bottle spray him. <laughs> Having unpure thoughts about yeah, 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 yeah mods spray bottle him. <laughs> Don't actually kick him or anything. <laughs> Kidding. Oh goodness. <laughs> Twat nugget. <laughs> Spray bottle day. I, you know what? There we go. That 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 needs to be a command. I'll I'll work on it between sessions. 
change the color and intensity of the lighting. This uh, this purple lighting is really ominous. Oh, Dante's Inferno. I, well, I do have that on the backlogged. So, I mean, it's free game. <laughs> it's, it's on the backlogged. Uh, but I do have enough series going on right now. So, if, Davey, you're thinking of... Uh, what about no more heroes? Well, I don't. I don't have no more heroes. So I, that would that would be a a no. If it's not on my list, it's a no. Um, oh, we do get different intensity options. Oh, that's quite a bit of like control over the slider. Yeah, but like if I'm gonna play no more heroes, I would have to like go out of my way, Davy. <laughs> I'm done entertaining this. <laughs> uh, but to, to finish out the thought, it, it is a game that on Switch I have, you know, thought of putting on the, the backlog or, or seeking out, seeing if it's on eBay or anything. Because you, you did tell me that all the games are on Switch now, right? I, I, I assume to recall you telling me that the first two are on Switch. Correct? Okay. Uh, game's a classic that isn't on the list, but it's okay. Now I'm curious what this game is, Trendo. All four are on Switch. I forget that there are four of them. <laughs> X-Men Destiny. Oh, is that the... That's not like the, the arcade X-Men game that I'm thinking of, is it? I haven't played that in ages. Oh, no, it's not that one. It's not that one. Okay. Which one's X-Men Destiny? Because I played the side-scrolly... Uh... I played the the side-scrolly beat-em-up one. Yeah, I like that lighting. It's kind of moody. Room size. I definitely want to increase the room size. Let's start with 8x6 and then I'll make it bigger if need be. An X-Men Devil May Cry game. <laughs> oh! Oh, Davey, I was going to tell you. Uh, so I am playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on my own time. Uh, so if you go over to my backlog page, you can see games that I'm currently playing. Uh, I started playing Breath of the Wild. First time playing. And, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's so good. I'm enjoying it a lot. All right, yeah, definitely, definitely making a spray bottle <laughs> to command after after this stream. You're forcing my hand. <laughs> you have yet to play Breath of the Wild. Can I can I ask what has stopped you up to this point, Trindo? Because I was having a discussion with um with a uh, Pokenite. And they were telling me that the durability uh, kind of mechanic was pushing them away from it. And I, I get it. Like, that was, I think, something that the first time I tried playing it kind of pushed me away. More or less, Davey, yeah. Yeah, all you gotta do is put ellipses and, and it, it really changes the whole vibe of anything that you say. <laughs> Why would you not use windows in in a cafe? That seems weird. Not all cafes need to be like creepy pseudo sex dungeons where you get your coffee fix. That's not a requirement to get caffeinated. Extremely goofy movie thought that that was the case. You know, a couple other films thought that that was the case. Goofy movie though, that's a that's the biggest offender right there. Uh, also, wait a minute. Order. If I scroll up... Oh, I just need tables and chairs. I don't have to use these tables and chairs. Get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> I saw Rotan Stool, and I like that way more. Uh, do I want to use a Rotan in tables, though? Or do I want to use... Like, maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I do. I'll have a couple of these. Boop, boop. Boop. Have a few of these. 
just never got into Zelda much. I wanted to, but never did. Thinking of it. I don't know if I finished much Switch games. It seems to be a case with, like, a few people. They, they'll, like, they'll have a Switch, but they haven't played many games on it. And I was in that boat for the longest time until, like, recently. I started playing tons of Switch games. Uh, I do have Ribbit King on the list, but I got some bad news, Trindo. Uh, my copy of Ribbit King is, uh, it's... Yeah, it, my, my, my copy doesn't work. I tried testing it the other day. I love Ribbit King, though. That is such a bop. Mm, Darkwood, yes. Okay, that's what I was hoping for was a Darkwood table. And then do we have a counter? I feel like we need a counter to, like, have a register and stuff. Ranch kitchen, compact kitchen, that's... Yeah, that is new. Ironwood kitchenette. That's not new, we have that one. Place that back here, though. Ironwood kitchenette, and then do we have... We do have walnut. Hello, Mouse Hive. Good to see you. Welcome in. Compact kitchen, and then that gives us, like, a stovetop, which in a coffee shop, you don't really need a stovetop. That's an odd one. Dark wood. I do like that, but I may not end up using that. Small wooden partition, medium wooden partition. Uh, this isn't a house. This is a, uh, this is a cafe, and I just haven't put the wallpaper on yet. So like give it give it just a second. It's coming together slowly but surely. Oh, I like that the rattan tables have like a glass top. That's why it's got that sheen to it. Uh Breath of the Wild is the first Legend of Zelda game for me to finish. I've started playing Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess on the Switch. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's the uh it's a cafe episode. Um Shit. What was I what was I saying? Yeah, I just I just haven't put the um wallpaper on yet. Need to put games I have on backlogged and use it as a redeem. I said I was going to in my early days here, but never did. I think so too. I think the the like layout's coming along. I just need to I wanna figure out a table for the counter. And then I'll put a couch or two somewhere. We'll have like lounge spaces. Um have I scrolled down too far? I feel like I've scrolled down too far. Yeah, I've scrolled down too far. Let me go back up. Uh, we are in the order tab. Maybe that is where my problem is. Let me go here. Ironwood low table. That's fun, but not what I'm looking for. Ranch low board. That might could work for the uh for the counter. And then, yeah, we got dark brown, white, blue. Oh, the blue's kind of fun. And then we have two, we do have tabletop designs. Yeah, the blue kind of breaks up that color. Let's move that a little further that way. Hey, Keo, how you doing? And, um, hey, Modernies, can we get a shouty for Mouseythe and Kyo, por favor. Grazie. Get kind of a symmetry going with the table layout. Good, how about you? How's the stream? It's, uh, it's going pretty great. We're doing the, uh, it's the cafe episode. We're, we're about to open up the Chewy Coffee Cafe. It finally happened. <laughs> Uh, ooh, the espresso maker. Definitely gotta have that in here. Gotta have the espresso. Um, what colors do we have? Ooh, I like that green. And absolutely, Keo. Now that we've got a lot of furniture, especially in that corner, let me... Let me get the wallpaper, finally. Modern wood wall? No. Modern mosaic? No. 
I want, like, window windows. Yeah, like that. I want window windows, but maybe not that. Um, ooh, a mosaic tile wall? Ew, gross. And then we got diner walls, which are also gross. Dark chocolate wall that is literal chocolate. Strawberry chocolate. Be lurking for a bit? Absolutely. We appreciate our lurkers here. I should eat soon. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be eating after stream here. Uh, the brick wall is definitely, like, the kind of vibe. Common wall is not bad. What about dirt clod? That's a little too rustic. Actually, no. I kind of like the rustic and, and worn. Is there another wall that's kind of like that, but it's not that wall? Chick tea room. Oh, I like the round windows. Oh, that's cool. Oh, coffee shop wall. That's too many coffee beans around the sides. Because <laughs> uh, concession stands. These are these are getting these are getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Latisse. No. Hallway wall. No. Yeah, that chick tier room. That that's kind of neat. And then I can also make this an accent wall, but that looks... That looks hideous. Yeah, that does not look good. <laughs> That's also not great. What about brick garden wall? Uh... No, the facade doesn't work. I wish you could uh, just choose, like, one wallpaper for, like, the one side. That's actually what we got going on here. That's what we have going. Yeah. That's exactly what happened here. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised, too. <gasps> Ooh, the ivy wall! Oh, that's cool. I like that. Cafe curtain. That's also very... Ooh, that's clean. That's clean. Wait a second. What if I make that... The walls. Yeah, what if I make that the walls and then make... The accent wall, like the back wall, something different. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's coming together. This is, this is it right here. Uh, we just gotta, not the computers, basic, no. <laughs> um, but now we can go back up and, like, I could choose, I could choose that rustic kind of back wall that I liked. And then it's not all around. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that. That's feeling very, like, it makes me think this used to be a bar, and then they converted it into, like, the coffee shop. And then that isn't doing anything for me. Let me get rid of that. Let me go back to order. And stovetop espresso maker. We got toast. We got a mixer. Got the coffee grinder. I'm going to get most of these items set up in some fashion or form in here. Tension pole rack. What is that? Oh, that's neat. I like that. And then we have different colors for it. Oh, okay. Brown. Yeah, we'll go brown and then I can play something on that shelf. So that's where I can go in and get the uh, get the coffee grinder. Love the coffee grinder there. I would not watch make make people watch every season of Prison Break. I don't I don't even know if I've ever seen that <laughs> stovetop espresso maker. Uh, let's put that over here. Do you have different colorways? Oh, we do. We got um. We got silver, black, and red. Let's go black. And then, do we have a cash register? I feel like we need a cash register. Mm, 
And then we still got the, the small wind partition, medium, but you can't hang anything on those, which is why I don't want to use those. Um, bistro table, this is inside, my guy. <laughs> why would you have umbrellas for an inside, <laughs> inside space? Cash register. Where? There we go. Okay, it can just straight up show me. Touchscreen, antique. We gotta go with the touchscreen. This place feels like it would have to, to like modern. Oh, I don't like that it's double sided. Okay, maybe not the maybe not that one. The double sided's weird. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. Uh. So we'll go with the modern. There we go. It's boring, but we can make it black and then it looks a little cleaner. Umbrella for when you don't uh, realize you installed high intensity UV lighting. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> or for the uh, for the hole in the roof that you never fixed. Does that touch a bad luck vibes if it's something you want? <laughs> I guess it does kind of. Um, oh yeah, the flooring. I wanted to... Let, let's see what floor options we have. And I'm gonna scroll further down, because that's where the new stuff will be. Fast food flooring looks disgusting. <laughs> that, that's horrible. That, like, screams old McDonald's. Like, like... Kind of 70s, 80s McDonald's. I feel like they would have that sort of flooring. Or Chuck E. Cheese's. I swear, Chuck E. Cheese's had, like, the rugs that had pizzas all over them. And then you could never tell. Is it an actual slice of pizza that someone dropped? Or <laughs> or is that, is that legit? White chocolate floor is kind of fun. But it's chocolate. Not what I want. Moroccan flooring. I I feel like tile is not the way to go here. Honeycomb flooring, that's an interesting one to give us, but no, not that. Um oh, they got even a pink one? I swear I've been in McDonald's that had that carpet. Right? Right? Like I'm not I'm not crazy. I've seen that floor and it's it's awful. Concrete so drab and dead, but also very like that's what most of uh, the coffee shops have gone into have had. It's just a plain concrete flooring, and then they might put a rug down somewhere. That is not what we're doing here, though. Old board. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Rosewood. Wait, old board, and then what if I make it against the... Okay, that's a little nicer. Um... Modern, no, court flooring, that one's that really gross one. Birch flooring, I uh, like, but, oop. There we go. Birch flooring, I do like that one. Oh, and I, I sorted it alphabetically. Type, alphabetical, type, that's that's what we had. Sakura wood, pinks, interesting, would not, no. Kind of turning into an English pub, yeah, in a way, sort of. Common flooring, there we go, that's, that's more what I was thinking, but that's a lot of, that's a lot of brown, dark brown, I want lighter, I feel like, but the cute pink flooring, and then make that go vertically, that gives a nice pop of color, but that's still not, hey, Lemon67, good to see you. Also, uh, I, I I noticed the other day, I was looking at, um, I was tabbing through, just wanted to stop by and say hello. Night, everyone. Uh, night, night, living. I was going to say you created your account on my birthday <laughs> a couple of years back. I, I just noticed that when scrolling through uh, user info and, like, creation dates. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, flooring designs. That's that concrete one that we were looking at. Uh, actually, that I don't hate it with the with this situation. Uh, uh, Twitch, Twitch count was made January fifteenth, I think. 
And I, I just thought it was funny because that's my birthday. Ooh, and then the black brick kind of works too. Yeah, these kind of... Ooh, what about the basement floor? No, the tiles are too big. I think this one might be the one right here. And then we'll break it up with rugs and stuff. Which, speaking of rugs, we'll see what new ones we have. We do have the... Ooh, coconut mat. That's kind of small. It does say cafe, though. Ooh, so maybe that'll be our, our like, welcome mat. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then... Got a red watermelon, yellow watermelon... A cookie rug. <gasps> oh, that's big. <laughs> that's a big rug. Yeah, maybe maybe the cookie rug under the... <laughs> that That's fun. Um, and what about the record rug? Uh, not enough space. Uh, what if I... Okay, we can only have the one gigantor round rug, so I'll need, I'll need some smaller ones. Um, botanical rug? That's too big. That's 4x3. This is 2x1. We got these kitchen mats again. Entrance mat, entrance mat, simple green bath mat. Could place that and have it... Um, could have it over here. Yeah, that, that's kind of nice. I think more of that floor space will be broken up once I put these uh, chairs. Because I'm going to put these chairs, and then let me go variations. Because we got brown, reddish brown, light brown, white, gray, and black. Yeah, we'll go with the regular. Pop, pop, doop doop. Get some more. Now let's start placing these around. Place a couple more. There we go. Uh, how does that look from above? I kind of like the offsetness of that, but I think I'll put this one over here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then I need a couple of... Let's put, like, chair chairs, maybe, somewhere? Uh, well, there's really not much space for chairs, huh? Maybe the table will have, like, two proper chairs. Yeah, that, that kind of works. And then, uh, we'll get plants, of course. Um, what else have we got in here before I tab out of here? There were couches somewhere. I feel like I can put a couch against that back wall. Um... Might be quicker to go to everything. Couches, couches, couchroonies, places to plant your butt. Where are they at? <laughs> I know you're in here. Can't hide from me forever, couches. I may have completely scrolled past them. Yeah, I think I scrolled past them. Back up I go. Doop doop doo doop. Uh, yes, I definitely scrolled past the couches, because there they are. Uh, vintage sofa, simple sofa, sloppy sofa, Nordic sofa, we got Moroccan. Uh, we got the kind of cool, modern, extra long. How does the Moroccan sofa look? That's lovely, and then what do we have for colors? Red, yellow, blue, pink, white... Green. Ooh, the green. Ooh, and then the brown. I really like the brown. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll like, set that back here. Yeah, there we go. That, that like, ties that back wall together. 
And then I just need to place like plants and stuff in the corners. This is really coming together. This is a cozy cafe. I would totes like come here every day and spend way too much on a latte. Do we get some more potted plants? Thank you, Natty, for the hydrate. Appreciate that. Let me see. Also, I feel like I need to put a bookcase somewhere. Or a bookshelf. But, like, not a big one, just a small one. Like, that'd be too big. But the wooden block bookshelf, I feel like I could... I can place that, like, right here. Yeah! I'll place that right there. Well, space gets a little cramped, but not terribly. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, the, the lighter wood. I don't know. Uh, is there another bookshelf? Is there another bookshelf? There are mirrors. I feel like there would definitely be, like, that odd, like, just kind of there mirror in one of the corners. <laughs> um, ooh. Also an acoustic guitar. There'd be, like, that one dude that grabs a guitar that's meant for display purposes only. And try and play it. And make people want to leave. And let's go with the... Let's go with the burst. Yeah. <clears throat> or maybe they have, a. Uh... <laughs> plays Wonderwall horribly. Hell yeah, that's that's all they have in their repertoire. <laughs> it's Wonderwall. Oh no, I got rid of the cookie rug. No, cookie rug. We gotta find it. I gotta get it back. Cookie rug. Uh, it was it was up, wasn't it? Cookie rug. No, it was further down. Cookie, cookie rug. Or do I want the record rug? Hey, Turquoise Turtle, thank you for the follow. Ugh, the cafe rug's kind of fun, but I do like the cookie. Or the, the record. Record rug's fun, but but cookie. Yeah, I think cookie. Decorating looks nice. Why, thank you. Oh, Tortellini. <laughs> I saw turtle in that, and I was like, oh, it's a turtle. <laughs> Thank you, Turquoise Tortellini. Thank you for the correction. I will get many names wrong. Tries to play Seven Nation Army on guitar. That's like one of the, the... Seven Nation Army, like... That's such an easy one. If You can play it on one string. All you do is move your finger up and down the, the fretboard. <laughs> it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> Can't tell you how many YouTube videos I've seen. It plays Megalovania badly. <laughs> I can't tell you how many like YouTube videos I've seen where where people just absolutely like or, or it'll just be a video showing off like you know ten easy songs you can play with just two fingers and then Seven Nation Army is always on that list always without fail. I feel like the enamel lamp needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. And every time they say, wait, hold on, instead of just picking up where they messed up, they start all the way back over. And then they'll mess up sooner. And then they'll do it again. They'll get a little bit further, mess up, and do it again. It happens every time. Also, pro tip, don't be the guy that takes a guitar to a party. Nobody asked you. Nobody wanted this. Leave. <laughs> Ooh, dual hanging monitors. That feels more restaurant-y. But it does have... It does have the, like, cafe kind of look to it. Maybe maybe I'll put that back here. Yeah, yeah, I'll put that back there. So it's got a little bit of a modern... Modern kind of thing going. Oh, and then they got fast food, restaurant-y kind of looks to them as well. Oh, and then this one has coffee and food items. You can get a pizza. Looks like a little casserole dish that you could get. Maybe a... Maybe a cheese dip. I kind of like that one. Yeah, that one's kind of cute. Boom. There we go. Alright. Uh, back to the ceiling. Because I feel like we need some hanging lights that'll... That'll really bring this together, too. 
Uh, you see uh, dual mini or dual monitors for menu options at cashiers all the time. Yeah, I do. I do too. But like my coffee shop, they do the traditional like they do it all on a chalkboard. Uh, milk glass lamp. No, I feel like the maybe a wooden pendant light. The enamel is nice. Let me let me place one of those. See how that looks and feels. Yeah, maybe have that hanging over the main table. And then this, uh, there's nothing saying we can't have multiple. Ooh, and then do we want wood shade lamp or the wooden pendant light? Mm. I like the kind of moderniness of this one. I, I wish you could adjust how high they were, though. Like you could lower the light, you know? I think the Sims, they give you like two or three different options of the same lamp. And they let you do that. I wish Animal Crossing would do that too. Or they'd have a toggle. Yeah, let me place these over the tables. I'm kind of leaning this one now. The tiered lamp. Kind of leaning towards that one. Plus I feel like I've used the... Uh, I've used that one before. Yeah, so let me go wood shade lamp. Place that. And then do we have different colorways? Oh, we do. Uh, oh, we get a pop of color with like pink or blue. How does the blue look? No. No, we get that pop of color with the green. Never mind. Uh, so we'll go dark wood. Scroll on over. Oh, didn't mean to get rid of it. There we go. And. Darkwood, there we go. I am villager hunting right now. Just saw Tipper for <laughs> for the sixth time. Send help. Oh no. Uh I did a villager hunting. I didn't do a stream of it, but I, I did a villager hunting like expedition on my own time, trying to get punchy. It took me like eight hours. I swear it took me like eight hours. I took breaks, like got up because I had to like pull my hair out because I wasn't getting them. Um, but I went through like 69 Nook mile tickets and so many Nook mile points. I had like 200 something thousand saved. By the time I was done, I had like maybe 40,000. It was so bad. <laughs> and and I was on my last ticket. I was on my last ticket and I, I was telling myself, all right, whatever villager is on this island, doesn't matter who it is, we, we got to go with them because I've been at this for too long. Um, Got to the island. It was fucking punchy. I screamed and my cat patches <laughs> jumped up. And you're still in that hunt for Poncho. Yeah, we got like we got missing person posters out for uh biscuits here. She's trying really hard to get uh Poncho over on uh over on their island. Also, if you want to follow another uh content creator that frequently streams Animal Crossing. Look no further than our Madaruni Biscuits here. Uh, she she streams it uh, more often than I do, in fact. <laughs> so definitely go show some love over that way. Uh, and then also, most of the, most of the fellas commenting and, and chatting are fellow content creators. So, so check them all out. Uh, we gave them all shouties earlier, uh, but this is your kind of verbal reminder. Hey. Follow each other. You are cool. Thanks for being here. I feel like I need some table decor for the the main table. Uh, so let me go. Ooh, yeah. This is where we'll find most the uh, the stuff I want. Um, kettle, cream and sugar. Definitely gonna have some mugs and stuff kind of laying about. Coffee mug. That's a that's a given. Regular mug. That's a given. We got the food stuff, so like maybe, maybe a soup or a, or a pasta dish somewhere. Curry with rice. Um, is there like a breakfasty looking item somewhere? Like uh, ooh, luncheon plate meal. That's perfect. That's what I was kind of kind of thinking. Sandwich plate meal. These look great. Animal Crossing does food so damn well. 
Disclaimer, I will be out of town next week, so there'll be no streams. Oh, okay, good to know. Thank you for letting, uh, letting me know that. Oh, an iced coffee. I feel like we need an iced coffee on one of them. Get all the varieties of coffee. We got a latte, we got your straight drip coffee, got an iced coffee, and then let me... Uh, sandwich plate or veggie plate meal or luncheon plate meal. That one's got a croissant. We'll do that one. Yeah, that'll be the... That one. I wish it was different uh, colorways for it. Oh, well. <laughs> I like that it's three seats and you can only fit one. Uh, one little doodad on there. <laughs> Uh, what designs do we have? We got floral, polka dots, rose, royal, elegant. Nah, we'll just go simple, plain Jane. And then for this coffee mug, let's go with the like a green mug. That seems to be one of the colors here. We'll go with that round logo. And then iced coffee, let that over here. We don't have different colorway options for that. There we go, got a fully... Fully loaded cafe, but that's fine because uh, our little end of day photos are going to have all of our villagers that we've decorated houses for hanging out in here. So that's perfect. Uh, let's get some wall mounted. No, no, no. Change your plan. Uh, everything. I still need potted plants and here they are. Cocoa tree. That's, a, that's an immediate pop that in here. Beautiful. Uh, and oh, it does not have different colorways. Good to know. That's fine. Uh, we'll rotate it though. There we go. I feel like this area needs a needs a plant. Any other potted potted stuff? No. Let's go with the monstera. That rotated around. There we go. Let's get the brown. Yeah, let's go with the brown. And then I need like one more plant over here. Let's go Shuffleera. That rotated all the way around. White, green. Oh, we got that green that we could bring back. Or we got brown. We'll go brown. There we go. That's looking lovely i really love this cafe this might be my favorite animal crossing build that i've thrown together and anyone that wants to replicate this for your cafe please feel free to like go back during this vod uh kind of place items where i've placed them feel free to use this because uh, this is fun i'm proud of it um now wall mounted stuff and this is where the fun begins. Uh, do we have anything that's got more coffee-related kind of wall hangs? Got the antique phone, so we could like replicate the roost if we wanted. Potted ivy. We'll get some more plant stuff. Um, it's getting into our wreaths, villager posters, and all that. Uh, let me see. How does a wall shelf with bottles look over here? That kind of works, I guess, with, with the with the setup. Yeah. Yeah. Then we like the different flavors. Yeah, when in doubt, put a plant in the corner, for real. Tried and true method. Interior designers hate it. <laughs> Actually, no. They'll probably tell you to do the same. I feel like the worthy painting would definitely like be in one of the corners. Uh, yeah. Not centered. I don't like it centered. And then we can't change the frame color, but that's fine. I'm going to call that wall done. Uh, and then we got this potted ivy. I want to see how that looks. Okay. I like that. And then we have different colors. Ooh, we got yellow. We got red. Green. How does the red look? 
That's really striking. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll have two of those. Since they fit so perfectly in those spaces. And then we might replicate that for the other side. Yeah! Yeah, we'll replicate that on this side. There we go. And red. Red. Because the red looks really nice against, like, the kind of greenish color of the wall. Uh, anything else? That we could hang. Put that antique phone in here. Have that on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how... How close to the... Oh, yeah, that's not too close to the, um... Thing at all. And then what colors do we have? Brown, we got natural, and we got black. I think I'll keep it on brown. Do we have a clock in here? I don't think we have a clock in here, so I, I want to get a clock somewhere. Yeah, I'm thinking an ironwood clock. Have that over the door, maybe? Yeah, there we go. They're complementary colors with the red and the green. Yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, we got that double-sided clock. I'd finally use that somewhere in here. So yeah, maybe maybe instead of that clock, we'll have this clock. So let me get rid of you. Raise this up higher. We got white, silver, green, red, yellow. I feel like the black is going to be the one. Yeah, I don't like that red. So let me see the green just to, just to see. Eh, we'll keep it at the black. There we go. And then like a big sign or something for up top. And then that should do it. Court board, bulletin board. I feel like there'd definitely be a bulletin board or something like with events and stuff. Like, hey, D and D meet on Thursdays. Be there. Uh, yeah, because we got bright, and we can change the colors. An airplane. Put people, which is still really weird. Because I'm still like like I, I I think of our villager as being the only person that you would see, and then these are like normal proportion people, and it's just weird. <laughs> it's very weird. Maybe a formal paper. Uh maybe that's like the official kind of seal. Yeah, like like something like that. Like best coffee shop in town. That's our little seal of approval, ranked best on the island. But don't tell anyone it's the only one on the island. It is weird seeing people in the game. Like, you see them in the, uh, the whatchamacallit, like, the TV, um... The, the TVs have, like, the newscast anchor, whatever, doodad person. And they're, uh... They're people. Then there's also the channel where if you turn it on at a certain time of night, you'll get the alien broadcast, which which the first time I saw that like made me give it a double take. I was like, huh? Yeah, this is... Oh, this is so cozy. Lottie, I think I love my cafe. I'm never leaving. <laughs> and the, the normal proportions, it's unsettling, yeah. How are things going? Uh, it's finished. Yeah, I think it's finished. So let's decide who will be working here. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we get to decide. Oh, you get two different options. Oh, yes. Oh, this is great. Uh, change member. We, we gotta get, like, oh, right. It's only villagers. I was thinking I could make punchy, like, I thought I could make punchy or, or like, cashier.
blonde hair and the sunglasses are giving me Dave Strider vibes. I can't. <laughs> uh, maybe Vivian? I could see Vivian working. Don't have Bob running anything. No, Bob, he's got the, like, Seth Rogen thing going on. He'd be too high to, to do anything. Can't you take villagers from your island and have them be on both? I'm not sure if you can. Maybe. Uh, I'd have to figure out how to do that. We're going on a Homestuck Island right now. It's a sign. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Marlo would not be able to see over the counter. That's hilarious. Wait. <laughs> we got to go with Marlo. <laughs> we got to go, Marlo. Um... <laughs> no, no, the birds, the uniform, I can't. No. Oh, and the green, so good. What about the heart apron? Oh, it stretches on his little body. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. All right, we got to go with the barista uniform for Marlo. And then uh, let's give him a little paper boy hat. Oh, my God. It's tucked between his ears. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Maid Cafe. Oh, I mean, we can. Um, who are the barista or the, the like one picking up the coffee? <laughs> I think being a maid outfit. How does the coat again look? It's not terrible, but uh, let me let me go back. Um, wait a minute. No, no, that that uh, the green barista uniform's doing it because it brings that shade of green. Got Marlo super early and made him the school teacher. You can barely see him above the tall desk. <laughs> uh, I made uh Eloise the elephant. I made her the teacher, and she looks adorable as a teacher. All right, Marlo, you got your, like, glasses on. I feel like we need to take your glasses away. Also, what other hat options do we have? You can barely see that on you, my guy. I just want to see what the bamboo hat looks like on him. That's funny. Uh... Oh, here we go. Plain paperboy cap. That's kind of more what I was looking for. But student caps. We do it the green. <laughs> we do it the green. We can pretend like that's part of the uniform it's a work hat. Yeah, it's that same exact shade. That's kind of perfect. Um and let's change your glasses. Oh god. <laughs> Marlo? No. <laughs> oh, the glasses are like part of his face. Oh, that's hilarious. Or or no, no, if I scroll down far enough, they're we can give him even bigger glasses. <laughs> That's part of his design, though. Do you know Marlo's eyes don't close, just like Coco? Oh. Oh, wow. Well, he does have, like, a unique eye shape to, like, any other villager. So it's, like... Oh, they do move back and forth, so it's not just a, like, painted-on texture. Hey, Shadow! Shadow! Can't just jump in with the jump scares like that. Good grief, might give someone a heart attack. Someone being me. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Um, looking for Blanche, Bree, Chief, and Frogbert. Chief is supposed to be uh, supposed to be dirt, so it was a sign. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The big round glasses kind of do it. You are back. Yes. Yes, I'm glad to see you're back. Missed, uh, missed having you around. <laughs> this is giving me pro uh, Professor Egad kind of vibes from uh, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Shattered glasses, that's great. Um... The the rimmed glasses though that that's kind of that's kind of the look I want. So we'll say Marlo's done the pose at the end. Oh, what is that face? Uh, and then let's change Maggie, change member. So we got Marlo. Uh, I feel like Vivian. I I want Vivian in the cafe. 
I just feel like she fits the vibe. Change the outfit. So let's see here. Diner apron. And give her the same barista uniform. Or we can scroll down. Make it make it a maid cafe. Full length maid. Or we can do a maid dress. Oh, we do have the maid outfit with green. That's a cute gown. I like that. Uh, we'll see what else we got as well. Um, dolly shirts. What hats do we have? Let me scroll all the way down to hats. We can't give the villagers pants. Elegant hat. Uh... Yeah, she's got big old ears too. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, wait. Maybe a little hairpin. That's cute. Uh, and then do we want to give her glasses? <laughs> I just wanted to see how cursed these look on her, too. Yeah, those are horrendous. Wish you could give them pants. Yeah, yeah, because there are some pants that look really good with some of the, um... Uh... You'll go without glasses. There you go. Huzzah! There's our, there's our cafe staff um oh you have a chicken or you have chicken did you bring enough for everyone shadow and i think i might um all right uh, uh the i think i might do chicken tenders for dinner tonight because i do have some um and then where's my plus button confirm there we go okay i'll go call the cafe staff wait before we do this we need to give our new cafe a name. If you have any ideas, I want to hear them. Or if you don't right now, that's okay. We can name it later. Uh, let's give it a name. I've been sitting on this like all day. Hello. What are we thinking? Chewy Cafe, of course. We got the, the Coffee Academy, and now we'll have the Chewy Cafe. Uh, space. There we go. And... Cafe. Can I get my, like, bougie kind of French E? Hell yeah, I can. <laughs> there we go. Chewy Cafe. I like it. You definitely want to name it Chewy Cafe? Yep. Pigeon Milkers? No, that's that's Brewster's side gig. Of course you did? Awesome. Can't wait to, to get my hands on some chicken. And macaroni with the chicken strips. Uh. <laughs> Got ourselves a name. Yes, we do. Let's get those photos of the cafe in action. Oh, uh, this is lovely. I hate that these are the cafe patrons we got, though. <laughs> Get that overhead shot. <laughs> Vivian given the side eye. <laughs> oh, hi Maz with the with the cameo. <laughs> Saying you're online. You don't say. <laughs> Sorry, Bub, you didn't make it into the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> it's so cramped in here. The new staff is here. I also found some customers to take a place for a spin. I can't believe how gorgeous this cafe turned out to be. It's going to look so good in photos. <laughs> then switch narking on you. <laughs> uh, Homestuck is following me everywhere. Every time my obsession dies down, I get reminded of it. My island theme doesn't help. That's a that's the thing with Homestuck. Like, I never got into the Homestuck like fandom. I never read Homestuck or anything, but I'm aware of it. And I remember the one convention I went to, it was at like the height of Homestuck's popularity. And there were so many people cosplaying Homestuck. And I could tell that they were having a blast. And you know, that is so awesome. I'm glad that they did. And it, it looked like, for the most part, a fun community. 
No, there there's some there's some people that like make it their entire personality or they made it their entire personality in their youth. <laughs> Watch your read through on YouTube, it's so amazing. I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole as a thing. <laughs> But I am aware that it's a... Ooh, Patches, big yawn. Such an EB boy. He's one of my cats, by the way. I've got three cats. Um, And then uh, Vivian and any other villager uh, that are the same height should wear pants, skirts. Some villagers are like Marlowe size. Makes sense to not have pants, skirts. Yeah, I feel like there was uh, like a height kind of thing that should go into play with, with pants. Like Bear Dude in the back. He's got a big-ass flannel. He would look normal in jeans. But but no, he, he doesn't wear pants. Patches, I just got done talking about you and you immediately go for the mic? Are you kidding me? And speaking of photos, once you're done, let me know if you want to get a celebratory photo. Uh, you know it. I like that they're walking around back and forth in the same spot with pictures. What's up? Let's take that photo. Let's head outside. The beachfront dining area should be ready by now. Oh, there's a... There's going to be seating in the front, too? Will there be a villager sitting up there? That'd be that'd be fun. Oh, it's just a table and stuff over to the side? I wish I could decorate that. <laughs> Marlo and Vivian look so uninterested in being here. <laughs> and now... We're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of Chewy Cafe. Thank you very much. With the new cafe open and ready for business, our island is on the map. Yay, Chewy Cafe! I just know we'll keep growing. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Chewy Cafe. Smithy, a few words? We did it, team! I'm so happy. I'm saying some words. We we did it, team. And by we did it, I mean I did it. Thank you! Next up, a comment each from Nico and Wardle, who worked on the beachfront dining area. Oh, um, I think it'd be nice if the cafe gets lots of visitors. I'm not used to speaking in public. Happy to help. Thank you both very much. And last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. There we are. Uh, do we want to offset any? I don't think we do. ZR. Oh. <laughs> Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> I think it came out lovely, but... What do you think of this photo, Smithy? Let's take another one. I, I want to get Nico jumping. We'll do a retake then. There we go, got Nico jumping. <laughs> I think he came out lovely, but how do you feel about this one? It's perfect. Yeah, he spoke. Wordell spoke. Wordell, he says like one or two words per session. He doesn't say a lot, but when he does, it's always very important. Maybe it's because the cafe is open late. Oh yeah, that would be why they're fed up. Also, Mar Marlo's just got this really unfortunate rest and bitch phase that he will never get over. I agree. I think it's perfect, too. That'll do it. Take care, everyone. All right. Our little eatery is bustling, and it's only the first day. Night. <laughs> it sure helps that everything on the menu sounds amazing. Seriously, I had a hard time keeping my tummy from gumbling while we were taking that photo. If only I could stay as calm, cool, and collected as Wardle. I was hungry too. I guess that means three of us. I could hardly stand how delicious everything smelled. Oh, we should all go to the cafe together as customers and just relax sometime soon. My treat. Yeah! That'd be so much fun! Thanks, Lottie! You bet. Oh, that was fun to daydream for a moment. Now it's back to serious business, like your paycheck. I know how hard you worked on this, and I'm hoping this feels like a generous reward, Smithy. 
So without further ado, please accept your 25,000 pokey. Hell yeah, that'll line my pockets nicely. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you two. Nico, Wordle, I have a nice bonus for all of your hard work and on the beachfront dining area. Thank you all for your hard work. Ah, I'm just so pleased to get another business off the ground. Everyone looks so happy. It was a great reminder about why we do what we do. Bringing a smile to someone's face is everything. I'm so glad we all got to experience that together. These are tears of joy, everyone. Pure joy. Oh, I almost forgot. Now that we're done with the cafe, we can build a restaurant at any time. I'm hoping we can collaborate again, but there's no rush. Just let me know when you're ready to get started. And who knows? If we keep building our vacation home business, maybe even more opportunities will arise. I'm just, it's so exciting. Our vision for this paradise is really coming to life. Hell yeah. Okay, do you want to call it a day? Or do you want to keep working a bit longer? Uh, I'm finished for now, just because I want to go talk to uh, residents here. Because uh, we've decorated a few homes, and most of them give you a reward for finishing. And I wanted to see the cafe, like, outside and in action. Yeah, I would have chosen some different chairs for out here, but, but whatevs. Yo, he's got a cool design. He's like a mandrill. Cool monkey for a change. Uh, and then we got the bear dude out here. That's not the bear dude that was in there before, though, I don't think. Hop in the cafe real quick. I just want to... See who all is wandering about. Best beans in the biz right here at Chewy Cafe. Yep. Catch you next time, kiddo. I took care of the body. God damn it, Moss. <laughs> <laughs> Notifications are finally cleared. Hell yeah. How many was the... Uh, what was your total end count on notifications, uh, Shadow? <laughs> oh, hey, Gloria. Smithy, darling. What is it that I can do for you, Quacker? Whoa, you can't call me that. That's not okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> How are things? Since I come to stay at this lo lovely oasis, my skin has been in such amazing condition. Perhaps it's because all my stress has melted away, Quacker. 70 notifications. Good grief. Why are there two Michigans? <laughs> what? Oh, hey. Yeah, that's like such an unfortunate... <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you might call it? Catchphrase for Gloria. Huh. Okay. And learn to DIY for the cherry speakers. Take a look at those real quick. Oh, that's fun. Ten cherries, though? That's a lot of cherries. Anyway. <laughs> and, uh, yes, we are in the midst of an ad break, which is why we are not going to wrap up quite yet. I'm gonna let that ad break run through, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll go into outro-y kind of stuff. Let me take a look at the school again. I'm poked my head in here in a while. Let's see who all is in here. <laughs> I see that Eloise went to the uh, cafe. Everyone being in school uniforms is so unsettling. <laughs> It is hilarious seeing Bob in here. Wait a second. I'm starting to question the academic, uh, uh, like credentials of the school. You call this a textbook? I don't think so. Let's head out of here.
doop doop do. Oh yeah, and uh, for some like final uh, closure kind of stuff, I totally meant to mention uh, that we got the Discord server. A silly game, Bob can't read. Yeah, Bob cannot read, indeed. And I think we'll save the uh, restaurant and whatever else for another session. So we'll definitely have another Animal Crossing sesh. Space Heater standing by. What is your flight plan, Microscope? Gonna go back to Dandy Cove, is that right? That's right, that's why I came to you. Roger that, let's fly. Six for DMs, uh, once for my art I finished, and the rest was people going live or miscellaneous. Okay, well, at least it was just mostly, like, live notives, and a lot of those were probably mine. <laughs> or from my channel. Because, uh, it's been a busy two weeks for me, in particular. And then, uh, I know Natty and Luna have both gone live, they've got the notifications set up for themselves. Best friends list. Yeah, there's there's Moz over on Jorge K. And the chat log. <laughs> Took care of the body, damn it. Uh, but let's see. Anything else I want to do real quick? Oh yeah, the Moroccan tray table. I can put that in the house real quick. Toxic server was the uh, the highest with 18 notifications. I think yours was at six or seven. Oh, okay. Scoop doop doop. Head on to my house. Well, thank you, user with several numbers for the follow. <laughs> Took care of the body. Thank you, Biscuits. Uh, I know there was a room in particular where I wanted a, a table. Uh, I think mine is set to notify only when you go live. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 because you only gave yourself the coffee announcement um, role, I think. I think I remember that right. Here is where I wanted a table. So I can finally put my alarm clock up on the table. There we are, and... That's the evergreen ash. I'm gonna put that outside somewhere. Moroccan tray table, place item. Hey, Zach, how's it going, man? Huzzah, now I have a table for my clock. Speaking of people in regular, normal proportions, there's plenty of them right there. Hey, no problemo, user. Uh, we, we enjoy our lurkers here. They're appreciated. Oh, that's a fun Pikachu emote. Ooh, Pikachu. Speaking of, uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter already, consider doing so. Uh, Twitter handle is the same as here. Chewy Coffee, all one word. Um, but I got a poll up on Twitter right now, and it's available on the Discord. So if you join the Discord and you want to get a vote in, and you're not a Twitter user, uh, you can go vote there. Um, but I got a poll up right now where you get to choose between Pokemon Legends Arceus or Pokemon Scarlet. Which one do you want to see me play first? Uh, because Pokemon streams are going to be coming back, and that could be as soon as Monday. Just watching without chatting. I mean, that, that's essentially lurking, is it not? <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's it's appreciated that you have been here. Nonetheless, glad to have you. And newest question of the day. If you could turn any video game, cartoon, or TV show character, face or heel, uh, who do you choose to turn? I, I'm not 100% sure that I follow the question. Turn any video game, cartoon, or TV show character, face or heel. Who do you choose to turn? Is there a Twitter command? I can post it for you. Uh, No, there's not a Twitter command, but you should be able to copy-paste my Twitter page. No problem. 
Mr. Rogers heel, dude would step on me repeatedly. Princess Peach worked for Bowser all along. I can see it. I can get behind it. Uh, basically, who would you turn from a good guy to a bad guy or a bad guy to a good guy? Oh, okay, okay. Um, ooh. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Rogers' heel would definitely destroy the fabric of, uh, fabric of reality, which is why I want him to step on me. <clears throat> um, but, uh... Yeah, who would I... Who would I choose from being... Good to evil or evil to good? Oh, uh, face and heel are wrestling ar archetype terms. I don't, I don't watch the wrestling, so that. And uh, thank you for that, biscuits. Appreciate it. Yeah, for the Twitter. Um. Yeah, I don't. Weed. I don't, I don't watch wrestling, so that was like a totally foreign kind of terminology to me. Uh. Yeah, golly. Ooh, ooh, no, you know what? I, I got it, I got it. And and please, someone tell me if this has been done before. Uh, So, like, we got the, the like, funky time space, you know, stuff going on with Legend of Zelda. I think it would be really cool. You're not into wrestling, but you have a wrestling game on your backlog? Yeah, it was one of the games of gold. I got it free. I'm not going to say no to a free game. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, anyway, uh, so like Legend of Zelda, we got the, like, especially in Breath of the Wild, this is explained very early on, uh, that Link is from, like, the past or whatever. He is <clears throat> a Link to the past. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I think it would be really neat if we had a Legend of Zelda game where you have Link and Ganon, and instead of Ganon being this inherently evil individual... Like, what if he, like Link, was a knight of Hyrule? And then, like, turned. Like, he gets, like, a whole villain arc. But for the, like, start of the game, he's, like, a dude you stand up by. Like, you guys are homies. Go on missions together. He kind of guides Link. And then at the end, it's, like, just boom, twist. Turns into the villain. So it'd be, like, a double twist. And Wind Waker kind of explains his motivations. I need to replay Wind Waker. I haven't played Wind Waker since, like, all the way through since the GameCube. It's been that long. Uh, I played it on the Wii U, but I didn't finish it on the Wii U. And I'm just kind of padding out time at this rate. Just want to catch one more fish. Oh my god, glad I caught one more fish. <laughs> I didn't know that these guys were available. Thought they were gone. Yeah, Wind Waker's music really is some of the best in the entire series. And I've been really enjoying Breath of the Wild's music too. And then Nooks is still open, so let me sell these fish real quick. Tai Lung from Kung Fu Panda. He's the uh the clotted leopard dude, the villain from the first movie, right? Or Scar from The Lion King. And yes. Okay, cool. Glad I remember my Kung Fu uh, Panda characters. That's like important stuff. You need to have that information on like lock. Be able to whip it out anytime. Uh, 16,000 bells. You got a deal, kiddo. You hand over them bells. Uh, I'm not familiar enough with uh, My Hero to know anything about All Might. Except that he's got the gimmick where he's like a little scrawny dude. And then suddenly not a little scrawny dude. And that's the extent of my knowledge of his character. <laughs> and it's all because of a Fortnite skin. <laughs> uh, I've got this tree. Where do I want to put it? i got a big plant. I might put it right here once I get rid of my brother's house. Can we pick IRL things? Is it so than PETA face turn? Oh my god, PETA instead of it being this like dirtbag uh, extremist animal rights group, <laughs> they'd actually do good stuff for animals. 
They could never do that. They don't have the typical animalese. Uh, they've got the like like gibberish chatter thing, and it's different between the uh, English and Japanese versions of the game. Uh, but let me go let me go talk to a villager real quick. Like uh, like Diane here. Oh, uh, you know what? You're not going to hear her because we're by KK Slider. Uh, so that's why you don't hear her talking. I need to, I need to go find someone else. Good Lord, Diana. You're really like, that's great. But I'm just talking to you to, to set an example. Oh, I know exactly who to go talk to. We'll finish things off by talking to my boy Punchy again. And I swear if he's still hanging out with Louie. And, uh, Shadow, you said Naruto or Izawa from My Hero Academia? That's what my hero fans, huh? Oh, oh, Punchy, you're cooking. Perfect. Wait a minute. Yeah. He doesn't... Why is that going on? What are you making? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a melody to Funky Town. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I keep going to areas where they have a radio playing. Yeah, give me that. Give me that recipe. That's so weird. Cause yeah, usually they do the. You know, and then and then like that's how they they talk to you. They they've all gone mute currently playing forest life damn it punchy you're a horrible example too later thanks for the, the like cooking recipe though yeah the talking noise isn't occurring ione weird wonder if that's a weird bug that i've got going on that's got to be a, a like a bug Because I'm in situations where you should be able to hear the animalese. They wouldn't have updated to get rid of that. Huh. My only guess is that maybe it's it's either a bug or it's intentional because I have KK Slider on the island and then they want it to, to be a thing. No, it's not a setting you would turn on or off. They don't really have settings like that. Huh. Anyway, strange. Let me uh let me go hang out in my usual spot where I, I end things off on. Oh, we got a we got shooting stars going on, don't we? Bruce and Diane on a little date. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll end off here. This cat's too loud. Mute it. <laughs> But uh, let, let's take a look at the raid list. Let's see who we got this fine evening. Following. Let me see here. Uh, I'd say let's go raid right into Virtue, but it looks like he just finished Final Fantasy V, so he'll probably be wrapping soon. Let's go with... Let's go, uh, let's go right into Ari. They're, they're playing some Witcher 3. Haven't rated Ari in a minute. I'm gonna get that started. And, uh, thank you, Biscuits, for the, the, uh, the, the clip. What show you'd want a cartoon version of yourself to be in? I feel like you asked me that one. And, uh, and I told you, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yeah, I remember that question. You asked that one during the, um, during the Crazy Taxi session. Yeah, I would, I would want to be in, like, Full Metal Alchemist as a character. Or, or, alternatively, uh, oh, what's that, what's that other show, uh, that I was thinking? 
Uh. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'd, I'd want to be in like Gundam, and it was a fun stream. I freaking loved Crazy Taxi. All those shooting stars that I'm not gonna get. <laughs> I'd definitely be a Simpsons or Family Guy character. Solid, solid choices. And uh, let me get that raid started so that we can actually like get y'all out of here. Uh oh, I, I sent you off too soon. I sent you off too soon. Oh no. I, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna give my outro while this is going on. Uh. I've been Chewy Coffee. You guys have been great. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging. I thought I still had the raid timer going. That's such an abrupt end. <laughs> Toodaloo. Take care. <laughs>